Hello everyone. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Today's video is a two-part series and a collaboration with Dunkey's Last Brain Saw. You might remember him from a video I posted 3 months ago and if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, make sure to check out his awesome videos. Part 2 will be linked in the description below. Before we start the video I'd like to know if you celebrate Christmas and how. If you want to you can leave a comment. Enjoy the video. It's the 24th 25th of December and class 1 is celebrating Christmas together. The large group of students sat in the warm and cozy, wonderful decorated common area and talked to each other, ate some snacks and waited for some others, which were still in their rooms. Bright and colorful lights hung everywhere and the common room was decorated with little Santas and many reindeer. Lametta was attached to the ceiling and sparkled as it reflected the light, like a disco ball, which seemed to make the room very bright and friendly. Next to the stairs stood a small, though beautiful Christmas tree, decorated with red and green fairy lights and unusual shaped baubles. Some looked like hearts, animals, stars or even heroes. Under the spiky needles of the wholesome tree laid many boxes and presents in various shapes, sizes and colors. The room seemed to sparkle at its fullest potential and that really boosted the Christmas spirit. The sweet scent of homemade cookies and tea was in the air, mixing with the smell of other delicious meals. Everyone was dressed in winter and Christmas sweaters, which looked very comfy and warm. Some of the girls even wore colorful fluffy dresses. Even some Santas and elves were there. Midoriya for example had a beard too and Karishima looked like one of the adorable assistants that help wrapping all the gifts. All of the young students couldn't wait to unbox their presents, but Ida told them to be patient and wait for the others. The group of girls chatted with each other while walking past the shining tree and sitting down on the couch. Jirao you look so pretty. The purple haired girl's cheeks turned into a shade of pink until they were almost the same color as minor skin. Thank you Momo. I love your dress. Honestly you all look adorable. Thanks Jirao. Guys. I can't wait to eat. I am starving. We still gotta wait for the others. Oh look. There is Bakugao. Indeed the boy was just walking down the stairs, as the girls spotted him. Why isn't he wearing the clothes I made him? Momo was right. Instead of the red and orange sweater he got he wore his casual black clothes. Karishima noticed the disappointed glance in Yeo Iorozu's eyes and decided to do something about it. Abbed one of the red, fluffy hats, which were laying around on the couch and said Taurus name to catch her attention. She stood right next to the colorful lit Christmas tree and in front of Bakugao. The girl probably turned around and looked at him already, but it was difficult to tell which way the floating dress was facing. Toru. Here, catch it. Kiri had aimed perfectly and now the hat was floating around too, following Bakugao. Katsuki noticed someone behind him and turned his head, stared at the magically levitating thing. Before he could even recognize the piece of fabric, it was already placed on his head. Oh I, who did that? Bakugao turned around, but Toru was already gone, because she knew what would happen next. As expected the boy angrily started to fire loud explosions. Almost everyone was looking at him now, watching his hat pulsating and almost falling off his spiky blonde hair. Suddenly Bakugao felt a warm, comforting, but hard grip on his wrist. He turned around and looked Karishima in his shining red eyes. Stop it, please. Katsuki sighed and freed his arm out of Karishima's grip. Then the boy gave his friend an angry stare, before he walked off to the couch, grabbed a cookie and sat down. The girls looked at him grinning and giggling because he still wore the hat Toru attached to his head. Thanks Karishima. No problem. On such a wonderful day no one should be grumpy, not even Bakabro. After a while everyone was in the common room, gathered around the big table in the middle of the warm and enlightened room. The students were talking, exchanging small gifts or decorating the cake with Sato. The three layer cake with red, green and white fondant looked delicious and the students had so much fun decorating it. They drew little stars, trees and snowmen on it until the outside of the cake was mostly covered in small doodles of Christmas ornaments. After some time everyone joined them and added their own decorations. While the students laughed and chatted, Christmas songs lifted everyone's festive mood and made many of them want to scream the lyrics out loud. The delightful, 
catchy tunes were like the sweet, tasty icing the cake. One without the other just isn't complete, they are always better together. While some students sang or even danced to the current song, a guest arrived at the dorms. The door opened and Eri happy I smiled at her friends. Hello everyone. Hey Eri. Good to see you. How are you doing? Deku kun. The little girl ran towards the green haired boy and hugged him, which made the many tiny snowflakes stuck in her hair and on her clothes fall off. The remaining shiny ice crystals instantly melted, ran down her light blue gray hair and left a wet spot on the fabric. Many of the other students came to join the hug, or just appreciate how much younger the teacher looked in the Christmas clothes he wore. Like Eri he had a red fluffy hat, but the adorable part about his outfit is his Christmas sweater. It was a red and silver, soft pullover with a black silhouette of a cat and a black label above it. It said, Mia we Christmas. Hopefully I don't oversleep that too. I'm here too, Barker. Midoriya looked at him and offered him to join the hug, while a bright smile was stuck on his face, almost brighter than the decorated lights. I'm glad to see you, Kota. After some hesitation the young boy stepped towards the group and allowed Deku to almost squeeze him to death. Happy birthday guys. Eri, you are getting the holidays and special days mixed up again. Today is Christmas. Birthday is the exact same day you were born. Almost everyone celebrates birthday on another day, because we were all born on separated months, weeks and days. Thanks Karishima for explaining. Also I really like your outfit. Thank you. Is no one gonna mention the cute saying on Sensei's pullover? Let's just sit down first. The two guests sat down next to Izuku and told him what had happened since the last time they visited. They ate some of the cookies too and praised the students for such deliciousness. Some time passed and it was time for the class to choose which movie they were going to watch. While Sato, Momo and Mina prepared the tea and hot chocolate as well as some snacks the others started discussing about the different movies to choose from. In the meantime Bakugao slowly walked towards the stairs, hoping no one would notice him, but it was too late. Hey Bakugao. Where are you going? The hot headed boy turned around and looked at them. I'm just gonna get some presents from my dorm. With that said he walked up the stairs and acted like he did hear the excited chatter of the two boys, when he left. I wonder who he got gifts for. Maybe for us too. So he does care. If only they knew how wrong they were, with that assumption. In fact he planned on surprising his classmates in a way they wouldn't expect. As he arrived in his room, Katsuki sat down on his bed and gently grabbed the pleasantly soft and comfy Christmas coat Momo gave him. He glanced at it for a couple of minutes and thought about the amount of effort the girl took to create not only his beautiful clothes, but all of his other classmates too. After getting lost in thoughts, he began to change his casual clothes with the costume and looked at himself in the mirror. He was glad to have such talented friends, who spent so much time making others happy. When Bakugao just finished putting on his outfit, he heard a gentle knock on the 